Hi everyone, it's Nicole. I have another layout for you using the Studio Calico January kit. I think I probably have um, two or three more layouts. I'm just showing you some of the products that I'll be using. Most of it is from the Studio Calico kit. I do have the buttons from October Afternoon, some twine that was in my stash, and um, then I start cutting up that paper and that paper in the wood grain had little hearts so I wanted the hearts to land sort of to the bottom right so I kind of cut the paper so it would land that way. And then I want a layering that would make the pictures stand out so I use that chevron uh, black paper and then I want it to mat it and I thought at first I was going to put it horizontally but then I liked it better vertically so I ended up changing it. I'm still looking for some papers and I know I wanted the that yellow with some blue because there was some blue in the blanket. And that right there it's it's uh, some crepe paper from uh, Melissa Francis. So I'm going to cut it down to size and use it as part of my layering just to mimic uh, sort of blankets. And then those bags that we get every month from the Studio Calico kit I figured it was high time I started to use them, so I uh, cut the bag in half, and then I'm going to put it to the right of the page. And again, it's just to mimic like blankies, and and like I said, in the blanket there was some blue and some yellow, so I wanted a little bit of both. So I'm going to use again from the kits that we get every month those little um, glassine bags. So I'm going to use one of those, and then. Uh, the tag is for my stash. I believe it's Amy Tangerine. And then I'm looking at some washi tape. And I'm going to pick some buttons from um, October afternoon. And I didn't have enough of that teal color, so I ended up using one gray one. So I'm looking where I could put some twine. And when I laid the twine there, it, it kind of gave me the idea of what I'm, I'm going to do with the buttons and twine. So that little tag was from one of the printouts and it says, uh, this is true happiness. And I'm going through my stash or from my kit and trying to figure out what else I could use. And I decide on that flare button, it kind of matched the page. So I thought it'd be a good page to match. I think those buttons are, or flare buttons are going to be hard to use because they're very specific. So. At first I thought I wanted to um, glitter my letters, but I had taken out my paint and I should have painted the letters first, but I was sort of in a hurry. I only had a little bit of time to scrapbook and it totally skipped my mind until I started putting the glitter on and realized, oh, I'm going to see the chipboard through it. So I go through all this trouble, which... Uh, end up cutting some of it because it was kind of long but it's 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 a great technique you just put score tape on your front of your letter and then anything will anything will stick to it so uh, you can you can um, put glitter but you can also put embossing powder and emboss it so I go through all the the pains of, of getting it done and I just didn't find it was yellow enough like it was almost like a, a dirty yellow so I'm not going to end up using it and uh, that score tape it's a it's a six inch score tape and I usually uh, use it for for making mini books but um, I thought it was perfect for laying my letters over top and so that I could put glitter on so I'm going to cut this down to size and stick it in behind that blue piece of paper. At first I was going to do my journaling on it and then I decided no I'm going to do my journaling on that little tag so it's more like a decorative element than than anything. And that little tag there um, it has little red hearts and that's in the end I don't end up using it because it has little red hearts and I really have no other red elements on the page so I don't end up using it. So at this point I decide that um, I'm going to be stringing the buttons on that twine. So in order to, to string it, I'm going to put some glue on the tip of the twine to make it 
so that it, I can use it as a needle. I looked for another needle, but I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't find one that was really on hand, and the only one I could find was a little too big. So I'm going to start uh, gluing all my layers, and I decide on that tab to the right of the picture, and I'm going to put just the date on that, or a little sentiment. And then I start gluing down that that bag that I cut up. And that glassine bag, I just glued it directly to the back of the, the layout. And I didn't want to waste any of that yellow journaling paper. It's actually from my mind's eye. It's those little cute little journaling journaling um journaling books, sorry. <laughs> and uh, so I just went, ripped one out and then I uh, I just cut it apart so I'd have enough for another layout. And then I start gluing my, my doily and as I was starting to glue it down, I noticed that there was actually two doilies, one on top of the other, so that's what you see me do is separate it. So I'm gonna work on the bottom of um, the page here and I basically just took a piece of that black chevron, cut it in half. I put some of that journaling paper, the yellow journaling paper, a piece of the doily, and and then I used a yellow tag from October afternoon. And just to kind of bring it all in. And then I found that there was no teal uh, there, so I, uh, I'm just gonna glue a little bit of that tag to the bottom right and then I'm just going to cut it so you just see a little bit of, of the tag. And then I'm going to start working on that twine in again to make it so that I can thread the buttons. I just put some glue but I'm <clears throat> on the, the tip of the, um, the twine but I'm so impatient like I can't wait. I should wait at least like you know four or five minutes for it to dry up enough and and I tried. I went and did something else and worked on my other twine and and um, to get it done, I just put some twine at the bottom there. Just going to be next to the button. And then that's as, as much patience as I had. So it works good for about three buttons and then it starts splitting again. So I have to I have to play with it a bit, but it, I eventually get it in. So I'm going to string those five buttons and then I'm going to just hang them underneath the photo and I'm going to put a, a glue dot in behind each button and glue them down. So this layout took me an hour and 20 minutes and uh, my little grandson is home for uh, visiting for two or three weeks so my time is, is pretty much limited. I want to spend some time with him. So I take 20 minutes or so every night and just try to get some done. So I got this page done and and upload it. And, and here my page was really crooked, like it was off the page. So I ended up ripping the paper, but I'd rather it be straight. And you really can't tell once you glue it down again that, you know, you ripped Part of the back of the paper so this is where I decide where I'm not going to use those yellow letters so I'm going to go with the sketchbook thickers so it the title is uh, my sweet angel and then yellow alphabet came in the the kit this month so I'm just going to lay those down and then I took a little geotag and of course the meaning of geotag is you are here so you are here and this is true happiness. And then I'm going to use some of my Glimmer Glaze, a blue and a yellow. And I'm going to add a few, a few of those enamel dots in the dark blue just to kind of, just to kind of add some color. So this is it. This, and the page was done. So I have a few still pictures um, 
to show more details. So I'm hoping within the next few days I'll be working on another page and and uploading. I do have a few haul videos, so I'll be uploading those. So thanks for watching. Bye.